Hi, welcome back to the Jansen Art Studio and our uh, YouTube uh, learning channels. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint just a small, uh, little fast um, telemark variation style of rose modeling. Now, I've been rose modeling for almost all of my adult life. I started actually when I was 17. So, we're coming up on 40 years, a few more years into that. Uh, and I love it. I absolutely love this style. And I've watched over all these years, I've watched the style change, which is what it should do. It should change and evolve. I've studied all the historical styles, and now I'm up into uh, doing some variations of it. Because today, people like things a little bit different. We like different uses of color. We like different types of scrolls, a more casual look to it. I paint all but I find as myself, as a selling artist, that more people like the uh, casual style. So I'm going to present to you another little casual variation of it. These are little boards that I have. And uh, I love these little boards. We have lots of these types of shapes and stuff. You can find them all over the internet. If you can't find anything, we have these at our studio. You can find that. Uh, I put on a uh, background color here, which I'll show you in just a second. Let's just take, since it's a small board, let's just take the two main shapes of, of the scroll, which is a C shape here. So you start out by basically drawing a larger letter C and then the S shape here, which comes up to the S. So this would be the S. And this would be the C, how you would go about putting the C on right down through here. And we'll draw a little tail, let it tail off down through here. The main anchoring point for some of your flowers that you would have inside of this style of, uh, you know, because this is an influence by Telemark style here, would be right into there. Maybe we'll expand our scroll out through here. We don't know quite yet how we're going to approach it. But that would be a main anchoring uh, point of it. We may cross over here like this and drop in a little flower here. Let this one drop in a flower right up here. Maybe put a small little flower right there. But whatever it has to, these flower sizes have to kind of descend down. It's a small board, so we're gonna be kind of careful. You know, we can't get too much in here, you know, in, inside this design here. We may put a backing up here like this. So we'll take a look at it. But that gives you your main line of movement there. Now, the color that I chose here is, uh, again, it's one that I find a lot of people are liking. And what I'm doing is just taking a little bit of white and a little bit of, so some white and a little bit of black, some dirty extender. I'm using the, the six colors of the Paint is Simply Beginning kit here. So I have them all right out here, my six colors, which is my white, my Hansa, black, thalo, red, violet, and the warm naphthol red light. And I'll add, so I'll take a little white, a little black, and a little yellow here, and then I'll find a color that I kind of gray that I kind of like, and that's pretty. And I don't have to have, and I don't want exactly the same color every time. Now I'm going to thin this out a bit with some extender here, some extender medium, till it goes on thin. I don't want to put a lot of a thin color on because if you put a lot on, the, the, as you go to stroke, they'll just bleed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this out over the surface here and leave just a light coating on it so we can still see some of our lines here, which we'll cover up as we paint. But it's just a real thin coat. I like to do rose mauling now, and what I find that most of the people that I sell to and everything... Uh, they like it more of the, the freedom or casual nature of all the prima. So I try to keep it casual, which means I'm going to paint into the wet background. So here I have it just so I lightly see my design through there. Now what I'm going to do is just pick out some of the main colors that I may want to use within the painting. Let's put out some of our red. So I'm going to take some of my reds that are going to be right here, a little red violet. Let's put a little red right into that. We'll mix that or just kind of model that there with a a little bit of the uh, uh, background color here, just to soften. We'll put a nice softer version of the red right in there, maybe. And people love when I do this. I put these splashes of color moving through the design. Let's take just a little bit of our yellow here, just run that through that design there like that. Let's take a little bit of our, a little bit more of our darker or black kind of color and run it through like a base shadow, thinking like you would have, you know, because rose mallers were basically, they're painting the acanthus, which is a, a, a root of a, or a plant that comes from Greece. They're painting the acanthus in a plant. So to think about, you know, flowers and leaves and growth and stuff is uh, very, very natural. So think down in here, some, you know, some greens and some stuff coming through building your design that way. 
and that's what I do when I paint uh, more casual like this. I might take a little light color like this and just streak some through like that just to break up that that feeling of the uh, the scroll just a bit like that. And so you'll see some, some stuff coming through and it makes a very pretty little design. Now, you can paint with any kind of size. Let's grab this brush. This is an eight. Let's paint with an eight today. <laughs> and that's what I do. I mean, I don't, I don't, if I want to paint casual, you've got to start right from the beginning. Don't get so tensed up inside because then the casual nature won't come out. You And, you know, I start it right here, right now. Splash some stuff around. Don't make it, you know, try to make it perfect or anything like that. Don't get into this copy the photo mode. Just splash some color around and try it. It is difficult. I mean, you know, it looks easy when an artist like myself that does it, that I've done 500 of these. That's why it looks easy, because I've done 500 of them. The more you do, the better you'll get, and the faster and easier it becomes, okay? So it's that's going to happen. So let's go in and let's just uh, decide. Let's uh, let's just take some of our blues in here too, uh, some of our blue blacks, or more of a blue black gray kind of color would be a pretty one to have as a base color of some of our scrolls. That would be kind of pretty. Let's take a look at that. Maybe a little bit more of the gray here, which would be kind of pretty here. Now we're going to be painting what I call two tone scrolls here. And with the two-tone scrolls, what it is is we're the I'm going to start out with my color slightly darker like this, slightly darker. And then the uh, color will lighten as I stroke into it here. So let's start it out slightly darker. Let's come right up here by the where we're going to vision like a little knob or something. We'll take the brush here. We want to end down here onto our chisel. So we want to kind of wind up our brush a little bit. Start up here by the flat. Now we're going to relax this. This doesn't have to be a perfect stroke. Relax it, okay? And that's what everyone enjoys. The more relaxed approach, not the perfect. I painted the perfect for 20 years. Now I want to try to relax it. So I'm just going to, this is my general motion that I want this to have. And I just want to relax it. I'm just going to set the brush down onto the flat, pull it around down like this, and right down let it curve right in here and let it kind of fade away let's touch into a little more color let's do that again right down around like this and let's just let that fade away even pull some back the other way like this let that stroke kind of widen out there a little bit like that that's pretty see and let's come right back up here onto this motion here let's do the same thing right on down right into the back of that. And let's just reverse that and come up here. That's why I talk about more relaxing of the scroll here. We'll let that scroll kind of relax down here. Let's build, let's build off of this scroll up into more of a knob right up here like this or to angle up like this. This would be the scroll where it would come down on the bottom and just let it kind of fade right off that movement. Just kind of fade right off in there like that, we'll grab a little bit more of that here. So I want this more, I want this kind of bluish, but not real, real super blue. And let's just darken this down so it's more as a, like a Prussian color, which was a Prussian blue, which was very popular amongst them. And let's uh, come in and let's just start a couple, maybe there's just, we were gonna tail this off down here. So maybe a couple of little strokes right down here to help tail that off like that. That's pretty nice. Now let's grab ourselves uh, right down in here. Let's go, let's go grab a darker red, maybe some red and some red violet, a touch of that black in there. Nice dark reddish color. Let's come right in here and fill that scroll up a little bit more. Touching a little bit more. So I, if I kind of push up a little bit like that, I get more of a, a little bump up there to the scroll. And then we'll just relax that out and let that come out like that. That's kind of pretty. Let's fill up this one as well. You can step out a little bit farther and then with the next one, step in. Or and then I'll reverse this, relax that a little. Maybe we'll relax that just a little bit there. And let that just fade in there. That's pretty. Let's put one here to the other side out like this and let that just join in. 
you know, like it's a little one that this came out like that. You can even put on a little tip like onto here. There's all kinds of ways in which you can pull and work these scrolls, but I love to work them into the wet color like this. Like right in here, we'll just let this cross a little bit. We'll let, love to let this work into the wet color. See how that lightens up and fades away as I just release the pressure on my brush a little bit there and let that just kind of fade out there. Okay, so that works pretty well. Let's get a little more red, maybe a nice little darker red. We'll put just a touch of extender into that here. And let's just kind of fill out, this is going to be our flower right here, so we'll have a little more red into it. Let's get a little more red. A little more of our nice warm naphthol red here. Now this will be a, this will start the main part of the flower, the anchor flower here. On the other side, we might want to put a little bit of a yellow or orange here. So I'll just grab a little Hansa. If I drop right down here, that will tone into some of the, get some of the blues and that reds in, in there. And that will just tone this down to this real toned kind of orange color. Do you see that right in there? Find one in there that you kind of like. And let's give it a try here. One right in here like that. That's kind of pretty. And it'll pick up in there. Let's try some of that right out here onto this one. Let's put a little bit of that right out here onto that one there. That's nice. Maybe a uh, little uh, stroke right down in here for one. This could be like a little S stroke. They use combinations of S where you start on the chisel to the flat to the chisel like this. Okay, so you start on chisel to the flat to the chisel and then relax that. Let's put a couple C's. So you see the majority of this design I'm building with small C's like that, small C shapes. Um, the letter C is what you're thinking about making here. Let's uh, put a little bit of the red in that one here. Maybe uh, a little red this time towards the center here. A little red. We're going to restroke some of this again. This is just the idea of some of your flowers here. Let's um, come back now. Let's grab some of our all important white. Now, to make the white more toned, we're just going to mix that right up in here with some of these other colors, and this will gray this down. This will make a beautiful gray color. Some of our blues, blacks, reds, yellows right in here. Find a real pretty little gray color here. And then we'll start to lighten that up just a bit. And that'll make a beautiful uh, kind of a gray that we can start some of the light petals on our flowers here, just like that. We'll uh, put a couple of, put a lighter little flower back here. Don't worry about hitting that red and stuff. We're going to stroke that again. So we'll put a lighter little area back there. Let's uh, come out here with a light just a little bit of light on this bottom side of this flower here. A little bit of light here on that. And a little bit of light here onto this one here. And this, so I go one side and then maybe go to the other side there, picking up some of that other color here. That's kind of pretty. Let's pick up more white. We'll step over to the side, maybe put a little yellow into that. So this becomes a little bit uh, a lighter color. I'm just going to clean my paper towel. A lot of times I'm wiping my brush out here, removing the extra color here. I don't rinse my brush off. I just wipe it and remove extra color here. Let's step off to the side and make more of a white, white stroke here. More of a white, white stroke here. And then we'll just let this kind of fade out here, out like this. That's kind of pretty. And so you're just, you're building these flowers here. Let's just put a little corner here. So I'll, I'll run the brush like this up and I'll pick up that little corner right out there like that. And you can put the back side of a flower turning like this, there like that, so it looks a little different. Just put a little of that color going out there like that. That's kind of nice. A little different type of flower. Here. 
And we can build that a little bit more here. A little more white. And if you if you have a hard time with that setting up like that, you may have a little too much paint on the surface. Just let it tack up for a few minutes and then you'll be able to do it. Let's put a little bit right there. Let's stroke a little bit more. There, like that. And so I'm just going, when I've stroked these, I'm just going from the flat and just pulling right down onto the chisel there real quick like that. Just letting it just kind of soften in. I like that, get a nice little movement to it. It's a pretty little coloring here. You can also pull from the edge out like that so that you get some different looks to it. But you can also, uh, like what I want to do here, I'm going to take a little bit of my reds here. So I don't always finish with like the, uh, both my reds here, I'll put in this model those together. Don't always finish with like the white sitting on top. A lot of times I'll finish with like some reds sitting up on top of the whites. Or I'll go back and forth like this until I find the, the look of the little flower that I want that one to have. That's a little stiff right there. It's a little, little, a little stiff. So I'll just stroke at that again, curving that. And that's a pretty little blossom flower right there like that. So I may end up now coming back, putting a little bit more of my darker red right into this. And we'll finish this little flower off by putting the darker red now right up on that one side like that. So that flower will look a little different right there. And change the color, add a little bit more red. Let's just put this little red right there. So that little red petal on that one comes right there like that. Yeah, let's go back to our little dark and our red together. So you see, I love to change the colors. Let's put that right in there. Right like that. Let's just stroke those together right in there. That's a pretty little, see it's a pretty little color in here. You gotta imagine uh, these being little side petals of a rose and it's cupping in there like that. And that's kind of pretty and different. That's what we want is some difference here. Let's put some uh, light color. We'll go to our blues and our whites here. Right down in here, we'll go a little bit to the blue side with that. Let's put some light, uh, get some more nice thick white. That's why I love this thick white here. And wipe off the extra here. Just a little bit of that blue into that here. And we'll turn this, this right here for a second. So I'm just going to set the brush down here like this and just pull the brush right around onto its chisel right in here. Boom, like that. We'll widen this out a little bit more here and pull one right around like that. Right in there like that. And see, doesn't that make a pretty little turned edge there for that little, little guy right there? And we'll put a little cap right up here on this one. Same type of thing. Pull right around onto its chisel and let it fade away. You can pull in many directions and... and when uh, I started to learn, my teacher told me, you pull, you learn to pull in many directions because a lot of rose modeling was done on ceilings and walls and you can't turn the walls. So you learn how to pull in all different kinds of directions, which was very true. It's very, very true. And uh, let's just pull some right in here. We'll put like a little light flower here. Just sitting out here on that side there like that. That's kind of nice. We'll cross over with a few things. A little bit more white here. And we'll touch in. Well, see, I kind of like that. Let's leave that. Let's just not play with that. Since I was going to do it, but then decided, nope, let's not do that. Let's, let's not play with that. So that's coming very pretty there. I'll, I'll go back through my flowers here again and look to see where I want to, what if I want to have something up on top. And I'm going to have a little red there up on top of those. Um, I might want to have a little toned yellow. So a little bit of all my colors and the yellow here. And let's just grab some of this. Find a nice, you know, if it, if it looks too green, you have too much black. If it looks too orange, you have too much red. Find a nice golden kind of yellow here. And let's just, let's just put some yellow right up onto the top of this one. 
here like that so that yellow looks kind of pretty we'll let that go a little bit darker to the red side here and we'll go chisel black to the chisel and an extra little stroke right there and that's kind of pretty nice pretty little flower lightening up there like that so before I go too much further here because this is this little board it's a you know it's a small little board here it gets kind of full kind of fast so we're gonna go over I'm gonna grab one of the brushes you know, that I use a lot in when I paint fast casual little rose molly is my number four watercolor round I have also the quill which I like the Raphael quill the 16684 number three quill but that's when I want something more perfect this is very very casual painting here so I want to keep the whole expression of the painting very casual so I'm going to use uh, my more of my uh, my round here which doesn't do it quite as perfect let's take a, a little uh, darker blue green here even some of this nice blackish kind of green a little yellow right into that makes a darker uh, green now I'll use water with this water will cause the color to lay off a little better okay so we'll use some water here let's uh, give a nice uh, curved here now you the calyx of this you can do a couple different ways I'm just going to do a couple small little strokes here like this okay so uh, that one will come this way. This one will come like this. Now, I originally was going to turn that flower down. Now we're going to turn it out like this. So this flower will come out like this. And this flower will come out like this. Coming from that point there. This flower will come out like this. Come out from that point there. Okay. And along this line here, uh, a lot of times what I like to do is small little uh, accent, uh, very casual accent uh, types of strokes. And I do it by either setting it down or starting on the point there and widening it out. So I will start either on a point and do like a little comma stroke, set it down and lift off like this. Or I'll set start at the point and then set it down. And it's this brush does not make perfect ones and that's what I'm, I want is I want a more casual expression to those strokes I don't want a perfect expression which is what we did in so many other styles for so many years we did those perfect ones and now I want to do these a little bit more casual so out comes that casual uh, there and I can use this to uh, kind of casual up the design here a bit to draw out some lines and stuff of the of the uh, flower, like a little telemark style here. We can cross over here, which is a little scroll ties, tying some things together here. And step off to the edges here. Leave some airspace. This is very much indicative of what they do with a lot of the rose mauling styles and the decoration here of these styles. Stepping off to the sides here and leaving some airspace in between the for the decoration here and There's hundreds of ways to decorate and finding some of the old and some of the new To get your ideas from and So we'll just pull some of this out the big thing is stay out of where everything that's wet so Here we'll pull some that way some there some nice over and that little darker green that I'm putting on now would probably make a real nice um, trim for the for this uh, the trim here for the around the board here too which is what I'll probably do I'm just going to start some of these nice little lines here going out and around here like that little and I these are this little ideas that I've seen in all of the older styles here and just little lines that come out and of course you know like I said there's hundreds of ways in which you can decorate up your lines here and you know I'm just giving some some very very casual lines casual 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 lines not perfect here 
these are the kinds of expressions that I find most people like today is the casual wine, not the perfect wine. Even though I personally, I love the real, a real mechanical rosemal and is very, very pretty. But there's something like this is very light and fun to paint. And uh, it's fun where you don't have to be perfect. There are sometimes I love to be perfect and sometimes I just love to just decorate and have some fun. Now you can decorate too much and fill it up too much, which I'm not doing quite yet, but I am getting close here. So we'll just add some of these little lines here. And those make those really kind of pretty. And, and uh, we'll add a little calyx line here to the bottom of this out and around that there maybe a couple of um let's take just a slightly smaller brush here slightly smaller little flat we'll just add a, a softer little color here into the brush and uh we'll add a few little few little uh they're not perfect they're just little accent strokes to the design here and i just go from the flat to the chisel and I go pretty quickly, I just go flat chisel, flat, and just let these very casual. And the painted simply, I call these wispy little strokes. They're wispy strokes just to kind of fill up and add some movement into the design. And uh, they're wonderful, wonderful additions of movement to the design. Just little wispy strokes, causing your eye to go around and decorate around. Okay. And then um, we'll finish up, I think, this little painting. We might put a little stripe around it. Little stripes around are always kind of contain the eye. They kind of contain it up a little bit. They're kind of fun to to do. And, and so you would step inside the edge here. Now, when you're striping here, run your finger right against the edge. Every once in a while, stop it and break it. Uh, and that helps the casual nature of the painting. So I'll stop it right at that wispy stroke here. But I hold the brush in my in my hand like this. I lock it in place. You can use your finger as a little guide here if you're going to go around and just lightly set the brush down like this and stop it every once in a while as you're going around. Right where there would be a stop to a, a, you know to a, where flowers or so were going to be and just kind of follow that around. Here like that. We'll go ahead and contain most of this side here. And then we'll leave a little spot and come up and around. Contain most of this side up here. I could have a few extra little wispy strokes up there, but yeah, I think it's okay. So that'll put that side there like that. And um then we'll take our uh, little bigger brush here. Let's take a little of our yellow and our black. And let's take just a touch of that blue and a little bit of, let's grab some of all this right down in here. Let's start putting all of this together here. Some more of that black. This will just make a nice dirty, I wanna leave it green, which means I'll, I'll leave a little extra yellow and a little extra black, but we'll just grab all of this to make it a soft, dirty. If I want this more brown, I could um, reach right in and grab some reds. If, or if I want it cooler, I can grab some red violet and just grab some of that, put that in there. And let's just take a look at this, maybe a little more black. I like it to frame up just a bit. Let's take a look. Nothing like just putting it on and taking a look. I want to see if, yeah, see that's grabbing that, maybe just a touch more black that's grabbing that the feeling of that line work, which is what I wanted. Here, right on the edge here, like that. So this is a very casual way to rose mall. On the channel, we have uh, a lot of uh, videos coming which are gonna show you how to pull strokes, how to do things uh, perfectly Okay, and then we also are going to show you how to do things casually, okay, with both. And I love to paint these types of rosemary. And it looks easy when, when 
I do it. A lot of my students say, yeah, it looks so easy when you do it. And the only reason why, and it is, it's very, very easy for me to do because I've done all different kinds of rose modeling for so many years. And I don't try to make anything perfect with this. When you're learning, we tend to try to make things perfect. And that gets us into trouble. And we tend to try to copy. And so just relax and have some fun. There's all kinds of little study boards you can get to, uh, you know, try different things and um, practice on. You don't have to get these, but these are inexpensive little boards. They're kind of fun to use, and they make great little gifts. They're quick and easy and great little gifts. And so these are fun little quick styles to try. We have lots, like I say, we have lots on if you want to learn how to pull perfect strokes. I have lots of educational things on for you there on making perfect strokes, arts of stroke work, and how to do that. And then also how to paint something really kind of fun and basic and a, and a fun little uh, design here like this where you can do relatively quickly in about 30 minutes and, and uh, have a nice little fun little gift, okay? So look for more of our creative ways, our creative uh, rose modeling stuff. We got a lot of them coming to the channel. I'm gonna show you both really relaxed styles like this, fun, relaxed shapes, fun, relaxed painting, and then some more specific uh, styles and more structured and uh, traditional styles too. So we got a lot coming. And I'll see you over on those other videos. You have a great painting day. Give it a try, it's a lot of fun.